discussing strategy number one for our case study. So in the previous video, we have discussed the case study that what is the problem, please watch that one because this is this one is the continuation of the previous. Now see, so this is the problem, list the name of courses higher than COM 300 and all students registered in them. So that is my query. So how to get the respective solution? We are going to discuss strategy number one. So this is a query written SQL. This is a very common query which we are habituated to write in our daily practice. So that is the select student name comma course name from student comma registration comma course because the student name will be coming from student, the course name will be coming from course and which student has got registered to which course that information is only in our table registration. So, where student.std number is equal to registration.std number and course.course number is equal to registration.course number and registration.course number is greater than COM 300. So, that is the query which we are going to uh, write. So, now there is a query which we have written. Now, see the student is having the student number, registration is having both student number and the course number and the course is having the course number. So, only the registration knows that who is, which student has got registered to which course. So, accordingly we have done this. So, this is the query written in plain SQL. Now, the respective relational algebra expression. So, pi student name comma course name, pi we know that this is known as the projection and sigma stands for selection. And on this, so that is the sigma course number greater than COM 300 and here we are having this student natural joint registration natural joint course. So, for your better understanding we can write here we will be having std hash and here we will be having course hash or course number. So, on this particular attribute this natural joint is taking place. So, that is our in relational algebra, this is the respective query against this particular SQL statement. Now, let us calculate the complexity. So, here we are having operation, processing cost if the relations are not shorted, another version is shorted and estimated size of the result. So, we have made this particular table to calculate the complexity that means how many tuples are getting generated during runtime within the memory. Um, of this particular query. See, join of student and registration. So, at first I am considering this one. So, join of student and registration. Here we are having all the tuple counts where we are having. Only the grade table is not required in our query. Rest 3 tables are required. Now, so 40,000 into 4 lakhs. So, this number of tuples are getting formed when the tuples are not shorted on this particular um, student number and here also on this particular student number if the tuples are not shorted. What will happen for a certain roll number say 1, I am searching where 1 is there in this respective registration table. Then for the roll number 2, I shall have to search that where this roll number 2 is there in the, um, in the corresponding student number in the registration table. So, in this way for each and every role, I am supposed to scan this total registration table as the registration is not shorted on this particular roll number and also the student is not shorted on this particular roll number attribute. So, here the tuples are not shorted. So, what is the complexity? So, for this all 4 lakhs, for next one for all 4 lakhs, for the next one again for all 4 lakh tuples and for 40,000. So, 40,000 into 4 lakhs, but when the tuples will remain shorted on the roll number, then what will happen? The, here I am finding 1. So, this 1 has got ready, roll number 1 has got registered with the course 1 say, roll number 1 has got registered with course 10 say, roll number 1 has got registered with course 15 say, roll number 2. So, I will be coming to the next uh, tuple in the student table that is a roll number 2. So, now again I shall have to search that how many times this 2 has occurred so that you can do the natural join accordingly. So, here in the student table I am scanning once, here in the registration table I am scanning once. So, how many tuples we are scanning, how many tuples we are reading during the execution of this query is nothing but 40,000 plus 4 lakhs. So, here it is multiplication and here it is addition. 
So this philosophy, this logic will be used in the rest part. So here I have gone for detailed discussion for other cases, we shall go for the expression only. So after joining these two, after joining these two, how many tuples will be formed in the resultant table? Obviously 4 lakhs because for each and every student, I am adding some extra attributes. So how many tuples are there in the registration? 4 lakhs and in the student only 5000. So if you go on natural join, how many tuples will be formed in the resultant relation? That will be also 4 lakhs because I shall, I shall find other st student details along with the registration tuples. So 4 lakh tuples where the student details will go on adding in the resultant table. So the resultant table will have 4 lakhs number of tuples. So join this result means this 4 lakh tuples with this course. So how many courses are there? Here the number of tuples in the student was 40,000 not 5,000, 40,000 it is our 4 lakhs so everything has been mentioned. So how many tuples are there in the course relation? 5,000 tuples. So here we will be having the 5,000 into 4 lakhs means this resultant table when they are not shorted same logic otherwise 5,000 plus 4 lakhs so that it will be for the shorted and then I will be getting this 4 lakh number of tuples. So tuple count will remain 4. 4 lakhs rather but the attributes are going on adding 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 so the attributes are coming from registration attributes are coming from student details attributes are coming from course details so that's why 4 lakh tuples are there but the number of attributes are getting increased when you are going for joining this and joining this with the respective result so now the next is this one so selection from result where course number is greater than com 300 so it will be operating on this 4 lakhs and similar case for this let us suppose the output will be 40000 tuples so i'm considering this one output will be having 40000 tuples but we don't require all the attributes we require only the student name and the course name so we should be doing some projection there so if you do the projection on this 40000 tuples then obviously you know the in case of projection the number of tuples are not getting altered so what is happening only the attributes are getting selected. So the resultant table will have 40,000 tuples. So this is a comparative study, I am doing this one. So now you see just consider this particular um, column, 40,000 plus 4 lakhs, there is a, this number of tuples are getting generated in the memory, then 5,000 plus 4 lakhs into 4 lakhs rather and then 4 lakhs and then 40,000. So this number of tuples are getting formed inside the memory during runtime of this query. In the strategy number 2, we shall propose some another form of the SQL query and the respective relational algebra, algebraic expression and then we shall go for the computation of the complexity of the query in terms of number of tuples. Please watch the next video that will be also in continuation of this one. Thanks for watching this.